Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, the Rodarte family. Uh, this is a quick video because I have to take my uh, my female dog to the vet real quick because I think she stubbed her toes or something. I'm not sure, but I, I need to get it looked at. Look at that. And she's leaking blood, and she, uh, I just noticed this. So let it focus. There you go. Look at that. I, I just noticed this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom to the vet see what they say about that because she's been limping around now and uh ho hopefully she gets a fix acp here comes another bill i'm just playing it's it's all for my dog so we're on the way to the vet hopefully it's nothing serious to be worrying about but yeah you okay mamas you okay girl okay guys we're here at the south bay vet we brought Mason to the vet. Let's see what happens after this. So we've checked in already, guys. Uh, now I'm waiting for the vet to come see me. Well, I'm not in the room yet. But uh, we'll, we'll be in the room pretty soon. See what the vet says about, about Misty. There's like one patient ahead of me, so... We'll wait. What's wrong, Misty? You're scared, Misty? You're scared, baby? It's okay. It would everything be okay, Mama. Yes, baby, yes. You okay, Mama. I love you. Good girl. Forty-four pounds. Come on, Misty. We finally got a room. Come on. Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Put her up here. Uh, you can leave her down there until the doctor comes. So we're checking for her nail. Yes, uh, I don't know what happened to her nail. It looks like she stubbed oh, it or something. Mama, can you come near Mama's? Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. So that's the right one. Oh, Misty, your toe hurts. No, um, no, she, she's limping. She's limping? Yeah, she's limping. It hurts. It hurts her. Oh. Okay. So I'm going to take her temperature. Okay. And if you can help me hold her, I'll let me go. I think she's used to this. One, actually. Yeah, let me go get a thermometer quickly. Because I don't, don't have one. And I'll be right back. All right, thank you. <sighs> Hopefully we get good news from the vet, so let's see what they say. Oh, baby. The trifexis, look at That's the good stuff right there, the trifexis. Oh, yeah. Oh, Misty. Right now we wait for the vet. Oh, baby. I love you. They took her temperature. She's not running a fever. She's doing pretty good. And uh, they say the weight loss, just because uh, Mrs. is a little thin, so the weight loss means uh, the puppy's draining her out. So she really can't keep up with, uh, and I'm feeding her pretty good. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I feed her pretty good. So, but yeah, she's she's actually healthy, just her now. Uh, I don't know what happened. I think she stubbed it on something and and it's all swollen now. So I, 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 I brought her because she started to uh, limp. 
she started limping, so I, I brought her to the vet, and hopefully she's okay, you know. You're so, you're such a good doggy. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Tomorrow, we're going to sedate and open it up. What do you think? So um, so much and then me. today, we're going to start some antibiotic and pain medicine. All right, well, let me have a line up the plan. She's a nice gal. So no, no way that she got bit by cat or... Mm. Uh, do you have any other pet? No, I have no pet. Okay, but so they're swollen, so there's a discharge coming out. So my suspicion is they may have something anchored from here and, and it's in somewhere in there. And she she had this for how many days? Uh, I, I know it's three days ago. Okay. Well, another another way is we can you can soak the paw in absent salt, continue the antibiotic and medicine, and then we can see her back in three, four days if trying out with antibiotic. Okay. And uh, seems like she had puppies recently. Yeah, she just had puppies uh, a month ago. Uh -huh. And uh, How puppies doing? Doing pretty good. Uh, I just deworm them today. All right. You can bathe her like once every ten days, two weeks. Um, sometimes puppies can scratch their mammary gland. Mm -hmm. They can cause mastitis. Okay. So puppies file their nails. So they're not sharp like needles. You're gonna go check the puppy's nails are like needles. <laughs> and they cause this. Let's turn her on the side. Let's look at the tummy. Okay. Yeah. Here. Yeah, see this one? She's already having that problem. See these little scratches? Yeah. That's caused by puppies. Can I see that? Those scratches? Yeah, look at that. Puppies have sharp nails like needles. So you wanted to file those so that they're not damaging the mom's memory gland. So file the puppy's nails? Yeah, just okay. file the puppy. So that you go check them out, you're gonna be seeing like needles. Well do. Yeah, so then to file them so they're not this sharp. Alrighty. Okay, and you're gonna breed her again? Um not not anytime soon. Uh, get her fixed. Yeah, these these are her first puppies. I'm gonna have one more more one more set of puppies with her. Uh-huh. And uh, that that'll be it. Good girl. Well, let me have Brenda line up the plan. And, uh, good mama. Is there any way we can get a uh, flea medication for her too? Yeah, yeah. While she's, uh, what is it called? Uh, the Comfortis? No, the flea medication for her. For, for the flea medication Comfortis is the most popular. What have you used? Uh, trifexes before, but I'm not using trifexes anymore because she's uh, breastfeeding. So yeah, yeah, I, I need something safe for uh, lactating. Topical. I think topical will be a good idea. Okay. Well, so hang on right here. We'll line up the plan. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There you go, guys. Antibiotics. Here we come. We're going to get some antibiotics for that, too. And then he said uh, to put it in salt water or something like that. Right? Warm salt water. Ain't no girl. Good girl. Such a good girl. Alright guys. Now let's see how much this bill is gonna be. So <laughs> wish me luck. So today we're just gonna be sending you home with pain medication and then antibiotics. Okay. So we're sending you home with 14 of the cephalexin, which is the antibiotic. And then we're going to be sending you 21 of the tramadol. Okay. And then we're also going to send you a Vectra single. That's the flea medication that's okay for the puppies. Okay. And you only need, uh, unless you want to stick with this one, you only need this one for the next month. And then once she's done um, breastfeeding the babies, then you can go back to, to the uh -huh, to her trifexes. So overall, all of this today would be 102.30. Okay. Okay. And then this is for tomorrow or when you do decide to do the procedure. So right here we have, oh, sorry mamas. Right here we have sedation. And then we have for an object exploratory because we do have to cut in and see what is causing, <laughs> what is causing all the um, inflammation. Okay. And then a uh, pain injection, antibiotic, uh, medical hazard because we are gonna be having to deal with sharp objects. Hospital nursing care, um, just for all the nurses that are going to be helping her. We usually have two to three nurses um, on a patient when they're in surgery. Okay. Outpatient ward care, uh, we want we usually keep them for at least four hours 
just to see how they recover, make sure that they're doing good and they're ready to be sent home. Okay. And then, unless you already have an e-collar, there's a e-collar here as well, and then medication and a bandage, just so that we can make sure that it stays clean. All right. Okay. And how much would that be? Overall, it would be a 326. Okay. Okay, so if I can have you sign here, this is just saying, you're not gonna be charged this. This is pretty much just saying that you understand the prices and what I went over with you, and that this is good for 30 days. So if our prices do inflate, we're gonna go with this one that we should do. Okay. Alright. Can I sign this one? Thank you. Yes, please. Alright, anywhere? Yeah. Okay, so let me go get your medication, and then she can come down. Alright. And then you guys will be ready. Thank you. Okay. Let me grab your phone and I can go into more detail with you. Okay? We're good. Okay, guys, we're back home. Oh, crap. Where's my keys? My keys, my keys. Uh oh, I locked it. There they are. Okay, come on, Misty. Come on, girl. Come on, pretty girl. Come on, pretty girl. Come on. Oh, your foot. I forgot your foot. Your foot. Alright, good girl. Alright, so we're home. We're gonna... I got sent home with some medication. Some antibiotics and a uh, pain reliever. For some reason, so... I'm gonna give her a bath real quick. And then give her her... Um, both of her medications, so... So then maybe tomorrow or in three days I'll take her back. He said depending, he said the antibiotics can help out a lot. So wish us luck. Hey guys, I'm back with Misty's final report. Last night I uh, we went to uh, the vet because of Misty's toe. When I came back, came back home. I don't know if I showed you guys with with uh, some medication uh, and antibiotics. But I wanna wanna show you guys that that well today Misty's doing a lot better today. Look at her toe. Comparing from uh compare from yesterday. Look at Oh I'm sorry guys. Looks a lot better now. Last night it was swollen, it was red, it was pulsing, it was it was so swollen that the that the blood was coming out of her toes and that that kind of worried me a lot. So I rushed her down to the vet, then painkillers and Antibiotics are working. I'm not giving her the painkillers. She's not that much in pain, but uh, the antibiotics are working. I, I cleaned it out. Uh, uh, I, I, you know, I did the most for her because, you know, the puppies are drinking her milk, and if, and if there's an infection in her bloodstream, it can cross over to the puppies. But yeah, guys, she's doing a lot better now. A lot happier. Her paw looks better. So, thank you guys for all your concerns. You know, I'm gonna have to leave this on a note. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, make sure you guys share this video to everybody you know. Please, please share. Thank you guys for your support. So, until the next video.